Hi there and welcome to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and in this detailed tutorial series you'll learn how to use Maya. This tutorial is designed to gradually take you from a complete beginner through to being able to create your own 3D art. In this tutorial you'll cover important settings, the Maya interface, modeling tools and techniques, creating materials and using textures and finally lighting and rendering. And when you've completed the tutorial you will have created something that looks like the scene you can see here. Before we get started though, there are a few things I want to tell you about how this tutorial works. The first is that there are two versions of this tutorial. There's this one, which is a playlist of individual videos which each cover a specific part of the tutorial. There are over 50 steps and the next step is linked on screen at the end of each video and also in the description below, so it's always easy to find the next part. If this is the version that you want, then hang on for a sec and we'll get started. But if you would rather be taken to the other version of the tutorial, which is one long video containing each step back to back, then you can get to that one by clicking the link in the video description or the card that is on screen now. The next thing you need to know is that this tutorial is designed to have a gradual learning curve that will help you to remember the skills you're learning and to become more confident. The first time something new is introduced, I'll hold your hand through the whole process. But when the same skills come up again, the amount of support I give you will decrease giving you the chance to reinforce your learning. If you get stuck at any point though, you can ask for help in the comments or check the link to the frequently asked questions, which is linked in the video description. There are also five challenges which I'll set you over the course of the tutorial, which will allow you to show off your newly acquired skills and to be creative in making the scene your own. The final thing I want to tell you is that there are some supporting assets available to help you to complete the tutorial. These are mostly textures, and you are welcome to create or find your own textures if you would prefer not to use mine. If you would like to use my assets though, you can find the link in the video description. As well as the textures, you will also get access to the Maya project that I will be working on during this tutorial, which can be helpful to look at if you're stuck or unsure of anything. Okay, that's the introduction done with. Click the on-screen card or the link in the description to be taken to part one of the tutorial, which covers some really important settings in Maya.